Hey, Don here. Um, okay, here's a question I keep getting asked. Um, how to copy and paste. You see that? Uh, that's how quick you can uh, copy something. Uh, first thing, if you don't know how to do something, go to Google and search for it. I found some pretty good pages, which I'll put in the links. And uh, a video that a fellow made, pretty good video. This one here. And here's one of the articles. They all have a little bit different twists, but this is a real common thing. This one, it's talking about how to uh, copy and paste these hard passwords and stuff. And so the way you copy and paste, uh, if you want all the text, start at the beginning or the end. If you're copying websites and some things may or may not work, uh, if you're just doing plain text in a document, then everything should work just fine. If you want a section, like say your password, then just select that. And what I'm doing here is I'm getting at the beginning. Left, hold down the left click, and then move across until you get to it. And you see that there's some quotation marks in there. I'm sure that's not part of the password. So be careful not to copy things that you don't need. Sometimes people don't write in a way when they're emailing to you or whatever that lets you know exactly what uh, they mean for you to copy or, and paste so uh, you might have to experiment of course when you're doing passwords you usually only have three tries so don't keep just trying anything try to make sure you know what you what you need before you do it now let's see I'm gonna send this message to someone I'm gonna send just a part of it get them get them started so I start at the top, left click and held down it until I get to there. And then just get up in the blue area and right click. And you can either just hold down that right click until you get to copy. Usually that works. If that doesn't work, then uh, you. Uh, and it's like this is in Linux and it works perfectly in Linux, but in, uh, this is Fedora Linux. If you're in Windows, then you may have to move over to the left. I'll show you again. I can't well. I can't see it. It'll stay there. That that and you can just left click. Of course, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm telling. I'm trying to tell you, uh, which is <laughs> a little confusing. I'm kind of half asleep anyway. So, for me now, this is a bonus. If you wanted to send this website's link to someone, and that, then uh, this is in Firefox. It'd be different in each browser, but in Firefox, you click on file. I'll do it again. I forget to tell. Click on file. Right there it says email link. And if your computer has Thunderbird on it like mine does, then it'll it'll start right there where you the two fields. So uh, you put somebody in there. And uh, I took it out quick because no need in giving out people's addresses in a video, right? Okay. Um, that's the link. Let's see, I just it just if you just kind of motion that direction it'll select it and uh, so I want to turn to make sure that's going to be a link so I highlight it this is uh, not copy and pasting this is how to make a uh, some a link turn into a link that you can clickable a clickable link you go up to format this is in Thunderbird other email programs will be a little different and in Thunderbird now you don't go to format I'm sorry go to insert link now, I'm just using the mouse and using the left button there's other ways to do it on the keyboard which is how I do it and that's why I'm kind of fumbling around but you click on that on insert link and there it is it's already highlighted just click OK so I want to put some stuff up in front of that so I use my arrow keys that was my left arrow key I'm gonna say read more now, I'm going to go, uh, okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to write a little text up here. Let's see. Here's good article. How to copy. So I'm 
when I'm sending something to somebody, that's pretty much what I how I do it. Or if I'm going to post it on my blog, I just put what I want to put on the top, and then so I put my little note, and now I'm going to right click in there. And I, there you can use edit the edit menu. See right there, paste. That's that's how, that's able to see these. You can't do them, but you can do paste, and you can do all this other. But just use normal paste most of the most of the time. Just stick, just one thing at a, learn one thing at a time. So, but I'm going to right click just to kind of be consistent. Now that put all that in there. See even the little picture went in there. You don't necessarily have to send the picture. You can or you cannot. Uh, I don't like sending all those weird things like print this. That wouldn't work in an email. It would only work on that website. I don't like the comment stuff or the. And see, I'm just just put my cursor there in front of that stuff, and then I'm hitting the delete key on the keyboard. Some of these websites are more contrary, and they don't um, work. I think if you hit it again, yeah. See, it didn't delete the picture. You could probably select it and delete it. Yeah. I just kind of clicked in the middle of the picture and it let me delete it. You can leave it in there if you want. It may or may not work in the email send. It depends on how the websites are built, but that doesn't really matter. So that's an introduction to that article. And you'll have to go there to read it. I, I just put portions of it because of all the copyright laws and stuff. And it's like those those funny signals there, I don't care for. They don't always work good when you send things. So I just changed it to a dash. And uh, now, I'm going to go down here. Here's another thing you can do. Going back to Firefox. Uh, in bookmarks, my computer responds rather slowly on this part right here. I use the keyboard shortcut, which works faster, but you wouldn't have been able to see that. Probably should have anyway. Sometimes it'll really take a while. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> so my browser's not really doing anything right now and I actually kind of have two separate browsers I didn't want to close this other page I was working on so I mean I can still go around but see there now the browser's not yeah I shouldn't even have done that I'd do better my computer's not all that fast and I'm making a desktop video at the same time here uh, that's why I'm getting ready to build a new one. Okay. Uh, let me see. No. The whole thing is hanging up. I just have to wait on it, I guess. If I could think of any other thing to do while I'm waiting, I would. The thing that I wanted to do is put the links in there. Um... <clears throat> I get aggravated when this happens. Well, I don't know what I can do. See there, I always keep this system monitor open, and this is in Fedora Linux. Uh, it's a good thing to have open because if something like that happens, you see, and I set the CPU, high CPU usage at the top, but just click on it. You can change by doing that with that little arrow pointing down. Uh, you can see, see it's using way too much. Maybe fixing, the, yeah, it's back to normal now. I was fixing to kill it. You can end, end the process and then op close the web browser and then open it back up, but I won't have to do that now. And see, there was a script in the uh, some of my bookmarks or something. That right there tells you exactly what it is. Uh, I don't know how those get in there. They just seem to be automatic, but uh, they often cause problems when you use that menu so I always use uh, hit, I hit what I did was I click and see now it came up I clicked on don't always kill that script is what I did and then I clicked OK so once that opens up and on a newer faster computer it should be and I have lots I have thousands of bookmarks I think that's got a lot to do with it anyway once that opens up click show all bookmarks I won't try to tell you that the shortcut key that I use on the keyboard uh, gets by this, but I didn't want to try to explain that. Okay, now I clicked over there at the beginning, at the top there, all bookmarks, and I hit the end key on my keyboard to get to the bottom. I guess I'm going to tell you some of this. I already saved 
all of these links I found into a folder and so what I can do is once I click on that see if you click on different folders they highlight automatically right click copy go back to your email click in there and uh, right click I keep wanting to use my sh keyboard shortcuts you'll have to you'll have to learn those keyboard shortcuts later you can read about that right click paste and then I'm gonna make this is just side stuff what I always do I'm going to para format paragraph heading so it makes it a little larger and show up better so there's all the links that I th thought were good articles they're just different ways of explaining it one of them is a video of course if it says YouTube it's that's the one right there there's two of them for some reason it may be the same video not sure but uh, Oh, uh, well, no, I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can look at them or not look at them. Uh, I always like to ha make uh, the text I wrote in bold, so I go to format, textile, bold. Yeah, this is kind of turned into an all-around now, too. But, uh, oh, and I'm going to name my email how to copy and paste. So I copy that, paste it up here. If I highlight that and then write, Okay, I'll do this. I'll just say this one time. Right click V. You hit, I mean, con I'm sorry, right click. Control V on the keyboard. Just that also pastes. I don't know why they use V for paste, but that's what does it. And uh, you might want to uh, learn that, I guess. Um, if you wanted to, uh, let's say I wanted to copy that, Control C. And then you would go where you wanted to put it and hit Control V. That's how you do it on the keyboard. That's very simple. It's much simpler to me than you remembering which right click and left click and all that stuff. But uh, you probably want to watch this other guy, Rick. Whoops, that was my mouse wheel doing that. This guy, Rick Costini, he did a pretty good job of explaining it. Except for he kind of left out the difference between cut. Oh, I didn't. I haven't said that either. All right, let's see. Uh, where can I cut and paste? I don't. Okay. Um, go back over here. Oh, I was gonna put his. Well, that's already in there. That's the email I'm talking about. Of course, the if you'll notice on YouTube, the links don't. Links are not the same as the text that represents them. But I I selected all that. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit Control C. Now, here's can't spell good. Here's a good how to video, and then what I would do is control V. And then I hold, well, I'm not going to explain that, I'm going to just do it. But I'm going to turn that into a link. I did that on the keyboard, and that's, let's see how much faster that is. Okay. Alright, here's a good example. Okay, I'm going to just make that bold, because I want it bold. Now, here's, I'm actually, okay, now, I would prefer my name be below that, so I'm going to hit right click. I'm going to hit cut. Now see it took it out of there. And I hit uh, the back space to get rid of the extra space I didn't want. I use my arrow keys to get where I want to be. And then I'm going to hit control V. And I put Dawn down there. And hits, I always like to hit save to make sure. Uh, it does, <laughs> if, if Sometimes you know programs do lock up or crash. And I got in the habit of hitting save a lot to keep from losing my work. Okay. So. That is how you copy and paste stuff into an email, how you send a web page to an email, and some good links on how to copy and paste. I will uh, probably have to upload my video to YouTube because it's going to be too big to send via email, anything over 10 megabytes. is general. The general, most systems, well... This system that you and I are using, uh, the person I'm making this for, 
10 megabytes is the most we, biggest file, most files, we, amount of files together or one single file that we can send. So um, this will be bigger than that. So I'll probably have to put it on YouTube. So in the meantime, you can uh, watch this Rick guy's video. And see down here, it shows Rick Costini YouTube. And, oh, that's his channel. And that how to copy and paste. That's what I'm saying. The, you can make a link have a different uh, title than what the actual link is. This is the actual link. Okay. So, um, either way, as long as it gets you there, that's what matters. But uh, I won't explain how to do that. <coughs> uh, watch his video. Read it up on read up on here. You'll have the step by step instructions in several different pages here. And of course, anything you need to know about anything, first thing to do is read your help menu in the program, uh, or go straight to Google, whichever works best for you. If you want to know where, uh, like where the website is for the program, that says about Thunderbird, and then it'll have stuff about their. Uh, you can check for updates, and it also will help you get to their website. Almost all programs do that. Um, there's help contents right there. You can search in there. I, over the years of learning how to use, you know, Google and other search engines, I like. I generally just search on Google, but you do find a lot of information, and maybe you can get led in different directions, maybe the wrong directions, you know, before you find the right ones. So. Uh, being being brand new to all this stuff, it might be better to start uh, by just going to the uh, help, or it'll say uh, you know manual in some programs, uh, stuff like that. Some of them take you straight to their website, so just go to help first. But general questions like this, copy and paste, which works in all programs, and pretty much Google's the best place to go, or whatever. I use Google, whatever search engine you like. Okay, I'm going to stop the video and um, get this ready to send. It'll take a while for this video to render, and then I'll have to upload it. So, Okay, it's done, and that's my jumbled up take on copy and paste.